This is a quick follow-up video for my how to make red concrete and how to make black concrete videos. Uh, it said that I would do a, just a quick follow-up to show you the actual finished product that we were making in both of those. And we have those here one at a time. First one is the red. As you recall, it's actually pretty red. It turned out pretty red. I'm, I'm actually really happy with that in terms of the finished product. Because it is hard to get vivid coloration like this while using grey Portland cement, as I've mentioned in these videos. And you might be looking at this, especially this guy here, and you're like, that video was about how to make black concrete. Not particularly black. It's true, concrete is gray. Let me do a quick comparison here. So this would be a regular mortar compared with our, our dark coloration there. Charcoal, they called it for that color. And uh, the truth is, is it is underwhelming, but... There is a surprise. With both of these, and with any color, and with concrete in general, when it gets wet, it changes color. So a lot of sealers out there are wet look sealers. So the idea is, is they will make it look like it's wet all the time. And that drastically changes the color here. Let's take a look. So like this guy here, pretty darn gray, but when it starts raining, That's a lot darker for sure. Definitely a lot closer to that charcoal coloration that we were looking for. And same with the red guy here. Changes it quite a bit. Also, you can probably see in both as it gets wet, you notice imperfections in the color, such as the nature of integral color mixed in with concrete. It's very hard to get a consistent color. It's more kind of variations on color. Uh, but that is just a quick follow-up video to show you what some in common integral colors are. Uh, I think these are the ones we used here. Uh, so that's a charcoal liquid pigment and a uh, red liquid pigment. They're both iron oxide integral uh, products, dyes that go in with the, the mix when you make it. They use a very small amount. And it is a fairly vibrant color reaction versus the standard gray, and just for comparison purposes. It's definitely darker. Like, I mean, undoubtedly darker. Maybe not as dark as you were hoping for, but that is the nature of mixing colors into concrete, is you kind of get what you get. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.